السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اشر ولا الہ الا اللہ شرونا محمد عبده ورسوله اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم ا مائی نیم از مجاہد ٹو گیٹ اسٹارٹ ائی ایم بورن میکسیکن ریسڈ ا فار اباؤٹ ہاف مائی لائف اینڈ ا آئی فاؤنڈ مائی سیلف ٹو بی چوزن بائی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ٹو دی ٹو ایڈسٹین اسلام you know the way of life that our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was here to teach us and to show us let me start out by uh letting you know about my story my personal story how i came to islam started when i was younger about 6 7 i would say one time i felt i don't i don't recall the need why i needed to speak with god but um I just needed the the um I needed to speak to God to Allah and um uh, you know those little uh, rosaries Christians wear all the time you know I had one when I was a little kid and uh, I just asked myself you know I was I found myself speaking to the cross you know like you know telling him whatever I wanted and um uh, I questioned myself you know I said is God really in this you know There's so many crosses like it. There's, you know, can God be in this little piece of, cl- of plastic, you know? And uh, I mean, alhamdulillah, it was good that I questioned myself because uh, I was I was searching for that hawk, you know, the the truth. And alhamdulillah, I have found it now. But um, I have first learned about Islam when I was in the ninth grade, high school grade. Um, I read about, you know, the Imperial Islam, how it grew, and all this as an empire. I read about it. Um, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the name Allah. Now the name Allah, it would constantly keep coming to my head, you know. And I would only think, okay, Allah, you know, it's a god for the Arabs. That's what I would I would think of it as. So um, that was pretty much what I knew of Islam, you know. And uh, it was until. maybe two years after uh, when I reached the uh, 11th 11th grade I had a neighbor his name was Anwar now through all this time I have you know I wanted to get close to, to to Allah you know so I I would study different religions you know I would try to study and try to find a point in my own religion you know Catholic I was born Catholic and um, I I was I was never able to find it, you know. I wouldn't go and confess myself to a priest and all this, you know. I just wouldn't I wouldn't feel like that was the thing to do. You know, I've always been the thing a type of person, you know. I like to just keep some things to myself, you know. And um I mean, Allah is the one who knows everything, so he's the one that that, that we should repent to only and always ask for forgiveness and guidance whatever we need you know he's the one that we should always turn to so um yes yeah, this neighbor i i had a neighbor named Anwar he's muslim alhamdulillah uh put him in my path you know and uh so he taught me the word salam alaykum uh, what it meant you know um uh, basic little things so um I said, okay, may Allah's peace be with you all this. He took me to the masjid a couple of times. You know, no big thing, you know, guys, you know, dress in robes. Okay, yeah. It was, I, I didn't take it as much of a, of a big thing. So, um, I lost contact with him for about a year and a half. So, d- during this year and a half, you know, I was just going through self-struggle, you know. I just, I came to the point where I just wanted to give up on everything, you know. I just, I said, forget it, you know. I don't want to deal with it, you know, I'm just going to let life roll, we just, whatever happens, happens, you know. I was just like that, I was with that type of mentality. So, um, I mean, there just came this time that, during Ramadan, that um, I just felt that, I don't know, because at one time, I can recall Anwar asked me, asking me, um when are you going to take shahada you know i said um shahada what do you mean by that you know i had never heard that word before and uh he told me yeah this this is when you become a muslim you know uh, 
you testify there is nothing to be worth, uh, no, nothing worthy of worship but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and Muhammad is his slave and his messenger. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm ready for that, man. You know, he had given me some uh, Muslim Spain books and um, some videos. The message, I'm pretty sure some of you have watched it. Um, great movie, by the way. So, uh, one day in Ramadan time, I didn't even know it was Ramadan, but um, I just I had this feeling come to me, you know, find Anwar and take Shahada. So I was like, wow, you know, find anyone and take a shot. I felt that in my heart, you know, like, find him, take a shot. So I look, started looking for him and uh, I got in contact with him. Actually, my brother got in contact with him. My brother came to me, hey, guess who I seen Anwar, you know? Yeah, he's staying over here, over here. Okay, I said, well, great. You know, it's like, he it just came to me. So uh, I finally went and I, I met him, you know, and. The first thing that that came out of my mouth was, you know, I want to take shahada. You know, I, I, I want, I'm, I'm ready. He said, all right. So he took me to the masjid during Ramadan. And I mean, this right here is just the thing that changed my whole perspective of Islam, you know. I mean, I was dressed, you know, my appearance wasn't all that respective, you know, as you can say. Um, so I, I go in the masjid and, you know, it's like, wow, that just changed everything, you know. Uh, I got fed, you know, they were doing iftar, alhamdulillah, um, I got fed, um, and uh, I mean, all the brothers there, you know, they just, that that closeness, you know, it's like, wow, you know, assalamu alaikum, how are you, you know, oh man, that just changed my life, you know, after that, you know, two weeks after I took my shahada, alhamdulillah. And um, I just testified, you know, I shadow Allah ilaha illallah, shadow Allah Muhammad Rasulullah. Uh, I bear witness there is no God, nothing worthy of worship but Allah, and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. And I mean, every other religion, I mean, I've studied so many religions before I came to Islam, you know, for that. I was always say, searching for the hawk, you know, the truth. And um, I would like, sh my, my, my Catholic, uh, Catholicism, um, Christians, you know, they have so many different sets. Jehovah Witness, uh, Buddhist, I, do, I read a Hindu book. I mean, all this stuff, it was just something always, all the time. When I, I, would, I would start getting, like, you know, interested, yeah, you know, this, this might be right for me. So, um, but this, there was always that thing that it contradicts itself or something's not right. So, to this point in Islam, now I've been a Muslim for a year and a half, a little bit over. I mean, alhamdulillah, there's not one thing that I have learned about this deen, you know, this way of life that that contradicts itself, that um, makes you think like, ah, oh, is that really, like, you know? No, everything is the straight way, sirat al mustaqim you know, it's like everything's the straight way, there's no doubt about it, you know? And I mean, I now I am now like uh, learning tashweed, the Quran recita recitation, and uh, and I read through the Quranic verses sometimes, you know, and I really feel like, I don't know, I feel, alhamdulillah, so blessed, you know, because uh, it says, you know, Allah chooses those who He wants to guide and misguides those who He wants to misguide. And there's no one who can guide them straight or, or misguide them, you know. I was like, wow, subhanAllah, you know. I really felt like, wow, I've been chosen, and I mean, I'm chosen for a reason, and I want to get to you people out there, you know, especially the Hispanic community, you know, there's a lot of a lot of things to do, to learn. Um, a lot of us, they say, yeah, you know, I believe in God, and this, I prayed in the morning, and that, no, this, religion is more than that, it's more than that, you have to learn, you have to educate yourself. You know, it's not just a thing that's going to happen from one day to another, but you have to learn. You have to learn about your history, you know, how our, how the Spaniards came to the Americas and practically murdered all of our, our, our other men and, you know, forced the Christian Christianity into the people, you know, say either you become Christian or we're going to kill you like that, you know. And, um, I mean, a lot of people, they're, li they're just, you know, living their daily lives in doubt. They don't know what's going on, and I mean, I'm just putting myself out here to let you guys know, you know, 
Islam is the way, one God, one way of life, one religion, one nation, forever. Ashadu ala ilahi illallah, ashadu ala Muhammad abduhu wa rasulu. And um, I mean, I just want to get out there to my Latino community, you know, my especially my Mexicans out there. I'm a Mexican myself. So um, I'll be I'll be coming on here, you know, and uh, inshallah, may Allah make it easy on you guys. And may Allah bless all my Muslim brothers and sisters out there, you know. May Allah bl uh, bless you and Ramadan is almost here. So inshallah, you know, that's blessings, blessings pouring on us, you know. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back on here. Stay. About uh, six, seven, I would say. One time I felt, I don't, I don't recall the need, why I needed to speak with God, but um, I just needed that, the, um, I needed to speak to God, to Allah. And, um, you know, those little uh, rosaries Christians wear all the time, you know. I had one when I was a little kid, and uh, I just asked myself, you know, I was, I found myself speaking to the cross, you know, like, you know, telling them whatever I wanted, and, um, I question myself, you know, I say, is God really in this, you know, there's so many crosses like it, there's, you know, can God be in this little piece of, cl of plastic, you know, and, uh, I mean, alhamdulillah, it was good that I questioned myself, because, uh, I was I was searching for that hawk, you know, the the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. My name is Mujahid. To get it started, I'm born Mexican, raised uh, for about half of my life, and uh, I found myself to be chosen. By Allah Subhanahu, and Alhamdulillah, I have found it now. But um, I have first learned about Islam when I was in the ninth grade, high school grade. Um, I read about, you know, the Imperial Islam, how it grew, and all this as an empire. I read about it. Um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the name Allah. Now the name Allah, it will constantly with the Allah to the to its Deen, Islam. You know, the way of life that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was here to teach us and to show us. Let me start out by uh, letting you know about my story, my personal story, how I came to Islam. It started when I was younger, about 